Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well and uh, welcome to another Sunday. In this video, I would like to talk to you about roundabouts. Okay, now there are many roundabouts videos on my channel. So this video is not about giving you all the rules and the regulations and all the principles of roundabouts. So if you need to learn about the roundabouts, the basic of roundabouts, I highly recommend for you to go and watch the other videos on the channel. But this video is just going to give you some of the things that the learner gets confused with. Okay, um, the thing I find my learners find the most problems or they find confusing. So in this video, I will be sharing some of the things that I think is going to help you to clear your misunderstanding or just to clear a few things about roundabouts that you might feel confused on. Okay, so this video is not like I said about the basics of roundabouts. If you really want to learn about roundabouts and this is your first lesson or you haven't done the roundabouts yet and you are about to do the roundabouts, then I highly recommend for you to watch the other videos on the channel. I will leave a link on the description below for you to see if you haven't seen those videos. But like I said, this video, I'm just going to clarify a few things which my learners, I feel they are confused on. Because roundabouts can be confusing unless you actually understand the basic, first of all. And secondly, once you do it a few times, then you will have many questions. And all you do is find the answers by your driving instructor, by reading books, watching videos. And that's how you learn. So in this video, hopefully, I'm going to go through a few things which I feel is going to help you to understand the roundabouts even more. First of all, make sure you understand the basics of roundabouts. OK, the principle of roundabouts. Many learners, the reason they get confused is because they don't understand roundabouts. They're not clear about the basic principle of roundabouts. So with the lanes, which lane do you need when you need to signal? Once you are on the roundabout, how do you count for you to go to your lane or your exit? So these are the things. The reason they're confused in the beginning is because they haven't done their homework to learn the basics of roundabouts. Now, I'm just going to touch on the basic just briefly so that you know. Um, roundabouts is like a clock face. So if I show you a picture here. So this is a typical roundabout, okay? Now, as you can see, it's like a clock face. So imagine it's like a clock, okay? Always imagine roundabout like a clock because that's the best way for you to understand the basics of roundabouts. So you, if you imagine this is a clock, then that means this would be six o'clock for you and this would be 12 o'clock. Always remember this. The entry that you are entering into the roundabout, the exit you are entering from is always six o'clock. So in this case for you, this is six o'clock and this is 12 o'clock. What if you are coming this way? If you're coming this way, the sign will be shown to you like this. So basically you're back to six o'clock again. Okay, if you're coming this way, same again. The sign will be shown to you like this. OK, this will be six o'clock. So your entry is always at six o'clock. This is why you need to understand your entry into the roundabout is always at six. So this is at six. The exit falls at 12 o'clock is always known as straight ahead. OK, so 12 o'clock is straight ahead. Make sure you remember this. OK, all the exit after before 12 o'clock. OK, before 12 o'clock, all the exit is known as left after 12 o'clock is known as right that's all you need to remember okay so your entry is always at six o'clock 12 o'clock is straight ahead before 12 all the exit is left after 12 o'clock is right now the question comes is only one exit here what if there are more exit it doesn't matter how many exit there is if it's before 12 o'clock it could be two three it doesn't matter how many exit there is all the exits are left all the exit after 12 o'clock it doesn't matter how many there is are right 
okay so that's the first principle you need to remember secondly you need to know which lane do you need for you to go to those exits simple all the exits before 12 o'clock is left lane after 12 o'clock is right lane at 12 o'clock is left lane also okay so 12 o'clock left lane before 12 o'clock all the exits on the left lane after 12 o'clock is on the right lane that's what you need to remember okay now for you to go to left first exit signal here make sure there's nobody on your right if it's clear you go okay if you are going to the second exit on the left or third exit on the left you don't signal here you stay in the left lane and you signal as you are coming off so basically if you are going to the second exit on the left it's left lane no signal and after the first exit you signal so say there's the exit here if there's an exit here don't signal here when you come here you put the signal on now when do you signal when you're about halfway so if you want to go to this exit when you're about halfway not there not there if you signal here people are going to think you want to go in there if you signal here it will be too late so signal about halfway the last exit you are passing okay if you are going to the right stay in the right lane so i've only given one lane um basically there will be two lanes okay so basically this is the left lane this is the right lane this lane is to come off the roundabout if you're going to go right stay in the right lane you signal right into the roundabout into the right lane and you go round and as you're coming off as you're passing the last exit you signal left so if you want to go there right lane signal right into the right lane go round on your here signal left look over your blind spot to see if there's no one coming and over and come back now many would say that i get many times i get the questions why can't we stay on the right lane and come off on the right lane as you're coming off to go right the reason is because the danger is if you stay in the right lane to come off on the right lane the danger is that this car probably thinks because you are in the right lane they probably think that you want to go there and they probably come out and then it will be trouble for you to go out and this is why when you are here to change lane that way they can't come when you are there when you are there they'll be behind you so it won't be a problem for you to come out okay so let me clarify again many would say that why can we stay on the right lane and come on the right lane as you're coming off on the right the reason because this car probably so say this is you this is your car you're on the right lane you want to come here okay if this is your car and you haven't changed lane this car here waiting thinking you probably want to go there and they probably will come and then it'll be a problem for you to come out this is why when you're here you change lane that way they are clear 100 percent that you are coming off and even if they do come they will be behind you they won't be in front of you or they won't be on the side of you where you can't change lane okay that's one the other problem many learners they face is when you are entering the roundabout to go maybe left lane or left first exit make sure you know who's on your right and make sure you know if the road bends like that because sometimes you have to go there and stop and when you're doing that the car in front make sure you recognize because many times many learners they look on their right and they forget the car in front is stopping for the cars on the right so make sure just don't don't look on your right obviously you look on your right but look for the car in front as well are they braking because if they are braking and you don't see you're just looking on your right you're going to go and hit back of them so make sure you know who's on your right so that's one of the problem the other problem many learners they face is they want to go right maybe fourth exit on the right so they want to come back around here again so they know which lane they've already signaled and now they enter the roundabout into the right lane once they enter now they've got no clue which exit they need to go is because they're not counting so make sure many learners they forget to count so when you enter the roundabout so here you know you're going right fourth exit you signal right into the roundabout as soon as you enter make sure you start counting because you, now you don't know which exit you need to go 
you knew here but now here once you're in the roundabout you're confused so make sure you know which exit so you're going to fourth exit this is you one two and now you know you are coming to three what's after three you know the next one is yours so make sure you count many learners once they enter they don't count and that's when they face the problem they don't know when to come out and they're looking at the sign and they don't see the sign early and they are confused so make sure you start counting one count another you will see the sign telling you which way to go the other thing about the roundabouts is many roundabouts are known as spiral roundabouts make sure you know the difference between a normal roundabout and a spiral roundabout what is spiral roundabout maybe you have three lanes here on approach or maybe two but once you enter maybe there are three lanes then you confuse which lane do i need left lane is for left right for right what is the middle lane used for so what is spiral roundabout spiral roundabout is where the lane is dedicated for the exit you want to go okay so make sure you know if there are more than two lanes then look on the road on the floor and know which exit you are going so say you are going to a town known as bristol or southampton or you are going to oxford or your local town make sure you know where you're going so look at the sign first and you know which way you're going and then once you enter and if there are more than two lanes look on the floor or look on the side and know which lane you need so the sign or the road will tell you which lane you need so for example you want to go to oxford it will be written on the road oxford so when you enter go into the lane which says oxford and stay in that lane don't come out the lane will automatically take you out okay so that's the difference between a normal roundabout and a spiral roundabout normal roundabout you know left lane is for left right lane is for right also left lane is for to go straight but if it's a spiral roundabout it means that you have a lane dedicated for the exit that you want to go look on the floor look on the side and know which lane you need okay the other thing about the roundabouts some of the roundabouts are controlled by traffic light now just because it's controlled by traffic light it doesn't mean the rule changes rule will stay the same but make sure you obey the traffic lights it could be here it could be in the roundabout it could be a traffic light here so once you enter if it's red you wait and then if it's green or when it is green then you go so make sure you know many learners they forget some of the roundabouts are controlled by traffic light so they know there's a traffic light here when they enter they just not looking for the traffic light on the roundabout because they're not expecting a traffic light on the roundabout many they think that the roundabouts don't have traffic lights there are many roundabouts which has traffic lights so make sure you know when you enter if there is a traffic light make sure you know okay so like i said this video is not giving you the full basics and the principles and the rules of roundabouts the reason is because i have other videos on the channel like i said if you haven't seen it and you need to learn the basics of roundabouts make sure you go and watch those videos i will leave the links on the description below if you need those videos but this video i'm just trying to clarify a few things that i feel many learners they get confused on so first of all make sure you learn the basics of roundabouts do your homework read about roundabouts watch videos about roundabouts and learn the basics of roundabouts number one number two make sure you know the difference between a normal roundabout and a spiral roundabouts also mini roundabouts so make sure you learn the basics secondly as you enter the roundabout and if you are going to the first exit on the left or maybe second straight or third on the right make sure you know the layout of the roundabout sometimes as you go and you need to stop because there's somebody coming on your right as you're stopping the roundabout bends slightly and as you are trying to bend the kind front is breaking and because you are looking on your right you don't concentrate the kind front when they break you could go back of them so that's another problem many learners they face make sure you watch on the right watch ahead watch on the right watch ahead because the kind front could break to stop for the for the for the cars on the right okay secondly once you enter the roundabout make sure you count which exit you are going especially if you are going somewhere on the right third fourth or fifth exit on the right so on approach you know which lane you've already signaled 
and then when you enter then you forget which exit to go is because you're not counting soon as you enter start counting one two three okay fourth is mine after three i'm going to signal and change lane so make sure as soon as you enter make sure you start counting and also know that some of the roundabouts are controlled by traffic lights many learners they have this understanding that roundabouts don't have traffic lights there are many roundabouts which has traffic lights okay so when you enter as you are entering there could be a traffic light when it's green then you enter the roundabout when you enter there could be also traffic lights more on the roundabout okay so look out for traffic lights on the roundabout if it's red even if you are in the middle of the roundabout you'll have to stop there will be a line and you stop once you stop you wait until it's green again then you go many learners in the beginning they find they get lost once they enter the roundabout and they just miss the traffic lights is controlling this roundabout so make sure you know there are some controlled by traffic lights. As you come out, many times I get questions on my channel that when we are going right, why can't we stay on the right lane and come off on the right lane? And like I said, it's because staying on the right lane and come off from the right lane is dangerous because the exit before it may be thinking you don't want to come you want to go to the next one because you're not changing lane so what they do is they come on the roundabout then it will be difficult for you to change lane okay and this is why it is advised it is one of the rule is when you are going on the right as you are coming off the last exit is for you to change lane how do you change lane you look at the mirrors you signal look at the blind spot and change lane as you are coming off okay so as you are passing the last exit change lane if you don't it could be more dangerous so anyway i hope this helps and i hope some of the problems you are facing on the roundabouts i hope this video clears those problems for you if it does please do let me know in the comment if this video helps and if you are facing those problems i just covered on this video please do let me know in the comment and if you like the video please do give a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you are new to the channel so that every time i make a new video you will be notified Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.